<laughs> finally. <Hi>. Finally. <laughs> Uh, welcome everyone to the 27th episode of In the Spotlight. Uh, Instagram seems to have changed their uh, app a little bit, so I'm just readjusting my camera. But uh, <laughs> today we have with us an exceptional female sports person who is one of the first, or I can actually say the first, in her sport to drive for Mercedes and for a couple of other driving companies. And, um, you know, I'm, it's totally an honor for me to, to welcome you on, on the show today. Thank you so much for having me over, Mudit. Uh, just imagine <laughs> such a wonderful technology and platform. You know, I, you know I'm like, I'm here, uh, you know, chatting with you online uh, for a live session. And, uh, you know, we, we've never met, but yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's so amazing to, you know, connect uh, with you here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It's it's totally an honor for me. So uh, let's sort of get started with talking about your early days uh, in uh, driving. And sure. how did you take up to such a, let's say, in some ways, unconventional sport in India? Uh, so, you know, it, it just happened by chance. Uh, I never planned anything. Uh, I was always very fond of driving because I learned driving at a very young age. My dad, I was a big fan. I'm a big fan of my dad and he yeah. taught me driving. So, uh, you know, cars and uh, driving adventure, all, all this is, is very close to my heart. So, uh, though I never planned to get into this, I never imagined when my dad taught me driving that, you know, in any, you know, form, you know, anywhere in the future, this is even a remotest possibility. But I think it, it was just destined to happen. I, I went for a, um, for a uh, fun rally. And, uh, and it just, I loved it so much that I went for the other one and the next one. And then I got, uh, I took proper training. I learned, I, I wanted to become a better driver, wanted to learn the the technical stuff and the racing lines and the technical bit about the car and, and all. So I took training and uh, I got into it like proper, properly, like professionally. Awesome. <laughs> so, so nothing was planned. Uh, <laughs> Just happened. Many, many good things. So, um, you know, I, I think a lot more people uh, in our audience would probably be uh, a little bit familiar with Formula One. So how do you sort of see rally driving and Formula One being different? What are the speeds you go at? What type of car are you in? Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, sure. Yeah, so Formula racing is basically circuit racing. So circuit driving and, uh, you know, you drive uh, at all together. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you kind of... Um, uh, you have to take a certain number of laps and uh, the formula tracks are all like, you know, well built and they are, um, you know, and they, then, you know, the format of formula racing. I mean, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think so. I need to, you know, explain that in detail. But in rally driving, you know, we drive on public roads uh, or tracks which are closed. Definitely they're closed. And, you know, these tracks are known as stages, you know, we we drive uh, on them and these roads are all kinds of roads so uh, they can you know you you'll get dips you'll get bumps you'll get you know it's it's countryside so you'll get trees on the sides you know you 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 so it's um, and all kind of terrains also so you you know you require you know uh, very different kind of cars for rally driving so uh, we drive on sand dunes we drive uh, on the hills uh, you know then also tarmac but then gravel also, so all kinds of, even ice, I mean, so all kinds of tracks are there for rally racing. So that's how it's different. And then you also drive one at a time. So with a gap of like, say, one minute or so. Uh, and, and you essentially have to have a navigator. So, you know, uh, in fact, we go for a recce uh, before, recce is like one day before the main competition, we go there and, you know, we just uh, make notes of, you know, the, the track. So, you know, the 50, you know, 90 degree turns or, you know, it, uh, the hairpin bends or whatever, you know, we, we note all that down, even the, um, uh, the, um, you know, the, the, there are portions which are very, very 
risky i mean you know where the car can really get damaged and you can you know really fly off if it's a huge bump or something so all those caution areas you know we make a note of and all that stuff we do so role of a navigator is also pretty important uh, in this uh, uh, sport and uh, but you know this is i have seen so much of camaraderie on this in this sport as well because when we go back once we finish uh, our, our races when we go back to the servicing point you know together we are like one big family because you know though we are competing with each other uh, but unlike uh, circuit racing where you know i mean sometimes i mean you you sometimes push i mean by mistake or you know sometimes i don't know i mean Uh, you push uh, the uh, the uh, some car out or you hit it from the back or you know some some episode happens like that but never in rallies i mean in fact we uh, you know if we, uh, i mean we all help each other a lot if the car breaks down you know we see some some car uh, has broken down uh, on the way we you know many many times even the top drivers who are you know coming Uh, in the top three and all, they don't worry about you know their timing. They gen- you mostly they stop and you know help each other. You know they'll try and you know kind of and then they get some time this thing uh, leverage and all because they stopped. But we we always help each other, so that's uh, that's a great uh, feeling you know uh, because it's also little you know high speed is there. They, it's it's definitely dangerous and we all want to enjoy the uh, game together. So. for sure for sure i was, i was just going to get to the uh, high speed so just to understand what what sort of speeds are you talking about how how fast does it really get uh see it does get very fast um on straights but you know there, there are you know as i said on gravels and there are lots of twists and turns and also you uh, one is not able to maintain a l- very high speed so we go like One forty, one sixty, one eighty, but I, I don't think so. Very, it, it goes uh, very, very fast because um, you know the, because I think it depends on the track conditions. If the track is absolutely sure. fine, yeah, yeah. So uh, then we go all out. Then you know on straights, but basically it's it's the, the, there are so many twists and turns, and it's uh, so it depends totally on the track. Yeah, I was I was just gonna say. I mean, obviously, <laughs> if there are different surfaces under you and the turns, obviously it would affect that. Yeah. So, how does it sort of work? Do you like memorize the track? Do you have someone on on like oh. uh, you know walkie talkie telling you something? Or how does it work <laughs> at that high speed to remember all these things? So the, that's that's the role of the navigator, you know. So uh, so um, during the race, the navigator is there and he gives the call. I mean, he's generally speaking, you know, as you're uh, driving very fast. So uh, the navigator gives the calls and gives you the directions. So you trust the navigator blindly. So if he says 90 degree right, so it's 90 degree right. If it's by mistake left and he says right, and then you're gone, you're, you know, down in the ditch or wherever. I mean, so you definitely trust the navigator blindly and. Definitely, you have to trust your instincts as well. But uh, you know, so the, the, it's it's a lot of teamwork. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so let's sort of um, get to the point where where you decided to actually take this up professionally. As I'm sure a lot of young drivers are probably watching this. So how how and when did you take that decision? Uh, you know, Mudit, it was very late in life that I realized uh, that, that I actually went for this first uh, rally of mine, which was even a fun rally. and um, and yeah i mean um, and uh, it was not uh, but uh, it was not like it was not a sport i i didn't start from you know when i was like a teenager or or, or very young so uh, but they say na um, uh, they say if i mean age just does not matter so you yeah. and and this sport you know you need to have a lot of mental strength and um, definitely uh, training and experience and all the stuff uh, makes a lot of uh, difference but i started actually very late in life uh, this sport and uh, but i think it, it did not hamper uh, in any way or limit me in any way that uh, you know I, I, and i feel that anyone at any age you know if you have the right will if you have the 
they say that the jazba hona chahiye if you have the right drive you know the passion yeah. to do it and you know so i think it just happens it works out for sure and um, in terms of in terms of uh, you know support in terms of family or even support on on racing team um, in terms of the racing team so what sort of uh, setup do you guys have do you have a uh, you know do you obviously you have your navigator but do you have someone like a uh, a mechanic with you at all times how does that work what it's it's an individual sport but it's probably a team sport at the same time so if you could uh, talk to us a little bit about that sure sure so you know uh, definitely i mean uh, we require the car servicing so there are you know after every stage we get a chance to take the car back to the service so that it's a set format actually that we have to follow and we get the car refueled and uh, definitely i mean you know oiling or anything you know as per the regulations mentioned whatever uh, you know we are allowed to uh, you know uh, you know many times uh, the gearbox uh, breaks or you know um, i mean many things happen so depending on the limitations and the regulations so you know we kind of we are allowed to go to the service team and uh, uh, do the repairs like you know so yeah so definitely and then they also you know when we are traveling from one place to the other they definitely the service team also travels with us they in their own cars i mean respective cars they obviously they can't come with us uh, in, in my car rally car will have only mostly because they they are these are rally cars they only have two seats one for the navigator and one for the the driver so obviously nobody else can sit there it's these are professionally made uh, uh, rally cars yeah they, they, to lighten the car and you know generally and and it will have a roll cage so everything you know you strip off the the seats at the back and you you have all um, rally spec car seats and seat belts and also only two people are allowed in the car yeah right and you were mentioning uh, the importance of of being mentally strong so yeah. how is how is mental fitness sort of uh, helped you in in your uh, rally driving uh yes i mean um physical fitness definitely is, is important you need to be fit I was but mental that. yeah yeah mental fitness is important in the sense i mean uh you need also resilience you definitely and besides your you know uh, the response the the judgment of the you know the distance of uh, the judgment of the distance uh, on the track or you know to be able to anticipate what's going to happen next or uh, you know your nervous system the the response uh, you know the, the ability to you know respond very fast the reflexes and even your eyesight all these things are important i mean so uh, besides the fit, fitness i mean and some things can be honed and you know worked upon you can work on your reflexes you can you know kind of uh you know uh, coordination hand eye coordination and you know there, there are quite a few exercises for that you do that and for mental agility and all that stuff but uh, it's very important also like you know resilience you know so um or to be able to um uh you know kind of go at it without fear you know that fearlessness so is that 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 something which uh is in born and uh, which resilience actually can be honed uh actually uh, yes so um for example i'll i'll give you one um, you know uh, incident that had happened uh, i have spoken about it a few times like when my car turned upside down you know it, it, so we we just put it back on the track and full finish the race so that was uh, so yeah i mean so um you know saying it so easily you know that <laughs> and while the the car i was driving and you know i took a you know it was a slippery corner and the car just uh, turned uh, you know turtle and but you know and and the navigator and both we were like oh my god we have been, uh, you know lost the uh, uh, the race and we were just short of a uh, few meters you know we were just about to finish that stage and but uh, you know we just had the you know we were so determined okay uh, you know and that we have to do something and finish the uh, race so we got the car back on the track and you know kind of finished it 
<laughs> so, wow. I mean, so yeah, I mean, yeah. So, and it has not uh, happened once. My, the you know, uh, these mishaps they happen pretty. Um, but I'm not saying regularly, but they do happen. I remember once I was uh, driving, and uh, uh, you know, my car just uh, the the left tire just came off <laughs> while I was driving. So, and and you know, some once my car the engine choked. uh you know the because uh, of uh, sand i was driving in the sand uh, in the desert and uh, so a lot of incidences uh, they keep happening right and uh, in terms of physical fitness i'm sure that also plays a very important aspect and you you touched upon a couple of things but uh, could you tell us what, roughly what is a a, tra- uh, a regular training day for you uh mudit um, you know it's um, see th- there is nothing streamlined or something or you know um, see there are rally uh, there are not many rally schools here in in india or something but definitely you want to be fit you want to be you know to uh, score better and also it's all that's your internal call you know that you want to be fit so it's uh, um yeah like for example when you train for olympics and all the stuff you have a fixed uh, you know um you know like a fixed day training and you know your fixed exercises and you have your trainers and all fixed for you you the, the, it's it's very systematic but in in this case um um we train ourselves i mean in the sense we have trainers i mean you can have but there, there's no program or something that we are following i mean to say that um but yeah i mean for in my case uh, when i'm uh, i i regularly do my uh, meditation because i think it really helps in focusing and concentration so that is mindful breathing actually i would say and uh, fitness is important so regular um, if i if i go to the gym um, if i am able to exercise regularly on if, these days i'm doing online training so that works for me so yeah so these two as it's mainly but also as i said meditation really helps because the mindful breathing really helps uh, for concentration and focus awesome so i have a couple of rapid fire questions that we're going to get to and then we can get back to the to the regular questions sure okay so if not for racing what do you think you would be doing today singer singing singing nice. yeah <laughs> nice nice and uh, what what is your favorite sport besides racing badminton badminton okay <laughs> um what's your go to netflix or a netflix documentary or movie uh, when when you need some inspiration i really like to watch these real uh, real life based movies actually uh i i find them very inspiring because they are made of, made uh, of true life incidents so that something really inspire me yes any of nice. those nice uh what has been your most memorable race um one of the rounds of the international rally championship in fact the one which where my car turned upside down and we managed <laughs> to put it back on track <laughs> <gasps> Right, right, right. And what is your favorite uh, exercise to to do to keep fit? Um, favorite exercise. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I do. I mean, actually, I I go for runs. Uh, I go for long um, runs outside. So I think that that's that's nice. You know, you get to jog outside and also. I think that's. Mm-hmm. that's something i really enjoy doing nice and uh, so. the the last one if you had to choose between uh, rally driving and extreme rally driving which one would you choose i'm extreme rally driving of course i i am an extreme <laughs> rally driver i started okay. with tsd which is time speed distance for mad rallies uh, yeah. but uh, i then uh, last so many years i got i graduated to extreme rallying and uh, i have been doing that uh, since then in fact I, i i took training in i went to london and dubai and i took training in drifting as well because i wanted to learn finer skills of 
uh, advanced driving skills and also definitely driving uh, fast and uh, you know and that, that's more fun you know yes then tsc drive for sure for yeah. sure i was i was actually the next question after this uh, in the regular question section was about drifting so how how was your experience learning that and you know uh, people like me have probably seen it in the movies or somewhere but to be actually uh, able to do that is is something that's really cool so can you can you tell us about about drifting sure uh, yes it's it's a very technical and it's not an easy sport at all drifting is requires a lot of uh, uh, you know you de- deliberately you know kind of send the car uh, you know you it loses uh, control that you make it lose control deliberately you know oversteer it and then you kind of uh, get it back on track so uh, it requires extreme levels of um, you know you need to become one with the car you have to have full control and you have to ha- get the sense and lot of practice definitely you require to be able to drift so and then definitely it's it's a big uh, you know expense you know because the tires they burn out and um, you have to constantly so uh, and definitely you require a drift a rear wheel drive car so it's a it's a bit of an expensive sport as well because all our regular cars which like for example i i have i have a front wheel drive uh, polo which you know I also i have uh, uh, it's a stock car you know i have used it for um, lot of autocrosses and speed sprints where uh, i have not used my rally car so the, the it works there but for drifting lot of you require a definitely a different kind of a car you it has to be a rear wheel drive you need to have um, you know uh, it, it has to have uh, a different kind of a differential it has a lot of um, uh, you know uh, suspension a lot of changes need, need to be made technically also you know you need to have a good suspension if the suspension is very soft you will definitely overturn the car so you need to have a good um, you know a good suspension and lot of other stuff yeah so nice <laughs> and uh, i actually read somewhere that a big aim for you uh, and a goal for you is to win the dakar rally That's so rally. Uh, oh. <laughs> i mean as an experienced rally uh, driver um what what do you think uh is is your sort of pathway to to uh winning it uh the car rally um and you know so you know sometimes uh, these i mean sometimes we have these i mean it's not exactly my 100% goal actually frankly to go to the dakar rally i would actually at this point uh i would like to hone my skills as a, as a drifter and you know excel in that direction i mean i'm not very sure if i actually at this point uh you know i want to go for the dakar rally frankly so okay. if it happens it uh, you know definitely you, you need to be uh, you need to practice a lot and uh, in that direction and i'm sure uh, i'll have to um, practice a little differently um you know to be able to drive um you know on the sand and it's more intensive pla- uh, 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 practice training as well as fitness levels i mean very high because it's all endurance drive you know and uh, so so i i'm not i'm not very sure if i'm you know i want to do it i'm because i have uh, in fact i have other things which i think i'll be more interested in actually frankly <laughs> <laughs> so what what are some of those things if if you can share them with us Yeah as i said uh, one is you know i want to become a better drifter then i am also um interested in you know a bit in journalism so that aspect maybe i'll i want to uh, become a better um, uh, you know i i'm a, i'm a big car enthusiast so you know i want to you know do something in that direction uh i have been doing the um, freelance uh, projects for various uh, media houses i've done a few for auto car i've uh, so i have some other projects in uh, you know lined up uh, nice. but uh, you know but yeah but see there's no pressure on me there's no this thing there's no hurry so i've been taking everything you know at my own pace you know as per uh, so uh, i have not been kind of hurrying up or uh you know hustling active frankly i have been so what's been you know uh, what's 
what's uh, whatever is happening at an easy pace i'm just doing that so nice so yeah. let's sort of talk about the the scope of of rally driving in india then so where, where do you sort of see it in the next 5 or 10 years for for india as a country uh you know there is uh, i think you know with uh, recently um uh, you know the our sports uh, minister mr kiran rajuju he is he so i think he's very dynamic and uh, he's a, such a good uh, minister and he's been doing such incredible work for i think all all of us actually all the youth and the sports people uh, you know in our country and uh, so th- for the first time uh, motor sports has also got included in government schemes so that's that's a very a uh, big step uh, you know it is it's now recognized in government schemes and also yeah. uh, it's uh, yeah so I, i'm seeing a, a, a big future there and you know then we have a lot of corporate houses like jk tires um, uh, and mrf racing you know, but of all the, so they have also got uh, jk tires specifically they have got into rallying and I, i'm and then there are other um, uh, rally teams like team champions is there and uh, so I, i'm sure there is a good future and um, now since government backing is there and support is there i'm i have uh, i'm good hopes uh, you know I'm, i'm very hopeful and positive about you know some really amazing things happening even in international circuit and you know that scale yes for sure and you know the the covid uh, situation in in india has hampered sports in in many ways but yeah. how do you see a rally driving specifically coming out of it and uh, you know what are the ways to to counter this inevitable situation um see i, I think you know uh motor racing and motor sports in general has suffered obviously uh because of the covid and like formula racing but it has resumed you know i mean definitely there are no spectators but it has resumed uh taking all the precautions necessary precautions and you know following all the uh you know the regulations and all the stuff so similarly i mean um the international rally championships and the events you know as per uh, uh, the permissions granted to them they have started to happen with all the necessary precautions and uh, you know social distancing and all that stuff so they have resumed actually frankly yes so that that's obviously great that's a, news for that's for great all, news, definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> for all the athletes and the viewers and fans yes certainly and uh, w- what would you say i mean we're coming towards the end of this session so i would just uh, want to sure. uh, ask you uh, what what sort of advice would you want to give to to younger rally drivers or even sportsmen in in general because uh, i think the advice would probably be similar regarding your your success mantra huh. sure um i think i would i would just like to say uh, for me two things really worked actually one was uh, you know that i n- did not give up you know i was like this person persistently you know working towards it though um, you know i started very late in life um, and um, things were not ex- i was doing a full time job and this was just a weekend passion then you know i got you know into it totally and um, but i did not give up though it, it was such an expensive sport and there, there were challenges lots of challenges uh, in on my in my way uh, so that is very important that whatever dreams and aspirations you have so just keep on working towards it and just one step at a time i'm sure you'll reach there i mean you whether uh, so that's one thing and the second is it's so important to keep on training yourself and honing your skills and you know and learning more because unless you you do i mean unless you become better at your sport and your craft and your whatever i mean uh, stuff that you're doing i think um, you know you you don't uh, get any it's so important to train and upskill yourself so these are the two things i would like to say it has sure, worked so. for me so <laughs> for sure also so for all the viewers guys you got to keep working hard and just got to keep getting 
better and better yes. and, and honing your skills but it's it's honestly been uh, an honor for for me to have have you on on the series and you know thank you so much for your time for your advice and and for everything thank you so much for it thank you lovely to connect with you and thank you for having me over thank you take care you have a great care. evening <laughs> you too stay safe take care bye